and welcome back to another review of the series Friday Night Frights. For those of you who don't know yet, Friday Night Frights is a project put together by Claire from The Book Fox and it involves a bunch of YouTubers watching horror movies every week and posting reviews of them every Friday night. If you would like to join, you can jump in anytime you want. This week's review will be of the cult horror movie Evil Dead Part 2 that was directed by Sam Raimi and came out in 1987. Last week I posted my review of the first movie in the franchise, The Evil Dead, that came out in 1981 and I will be linking that video down below in case you haven't seen it and you want to watch it. For this video, I will though assume that you have seen at least the first Evil Dead, so when discussing the plot I will assume that you know at least what the first movie is about. Before I go into that though, I want to say that while the first one I had previously seen so I knew what it was about, this one and the next movie in this franchise I have not seen before. So this is the first time I have seen Evil Dead Part 2. I had no idea what to expect except that it was labeled as comedy horror and that it was a sequel to the first movie. So having said that, let's go into the plot and what I thought about it. So the first movie is about a group of friends who go to spend spring break in a abandoned cabin in the woods and they find a recorder and by accident they play some incantations and some demons come to life and start possessing them. At the end of the first movie there is only one survivor who's called Ash and the movie ends with Ash still being alive, but almost not. The second movie, however, does not pick up with Ash being the only survivor. The second movie starts off with Ash and his girlfriend Linda going to spend a weekend at an abandoned cabin where they accidentally find a tape recorder, play some incantations, bring back some demons from the dead, who possessed Linda and Ash has to kill her. This happens in the first five minutes of the movie, so it doesn't really spoil much. But this was enough to kind of start it on the wrong foot with me because I just had no idea what was going on. Were they just assuming that the first movie did not happen at all, which technically is not what a sequel is supposed to do? Or I started overthinking it and I thought maybe that Ash was caught in this time loop where he would relive things with his girlfriend and have to kill her over and over again. Then I was thinking maybe Ash was kind of possessed by the demons in a different way, that he was going out of the woods and finding women by the name of Linda and bringing them back to the cabin for the demons to possess her, like I had no idea what was going on and for the first 5-10 minutes of the movie I kept overthinking these things until I realized that I had probably seen way too many psychological thrillers and things with twists in them and that this was just a low budget 80s movie that was not trying to play with my mind. It was just not caring about the movie that was before it. That kind of took away a little bit from the whole movie experience because it just happened at the beginning and it was just playing with my mind. Talking about that though, after I watched the movie and I was reading online about it, there has been a forever going debate whether Evil Dead 2 is a sequel to Evil Dead 1 or is a remake because of exactly what I was talking about, because of just kind of assuming that the events in the first movie didn't take place and because of overriding certain things, there has been this debate over what is it? Is it a sequel or is it a remake? And from what I understand, it's not really been conclusive, but a lot of people consider it a sequel, but some people are still not convinced. So it's really good to know that I'm not the only person thinking what the hell is going on. Those kind of five minutes intro to the movie end exactly where the first movie finished off with Ash being alone in the woods and the evil possessing force chasing after him. For about half of the movie you just get Ash being stuck in this cabin by himself trying to fight these demons and I do appreciate Bruce Campbell, the actor who played Ash, for being able to kind of just act out a whole movie by himself in a cabin and afterwards there is another group of people that end up in the cabin and the first movie gets recreated again. The problem that I had with this movie is that I didn't really see its need of existence because it does not really 
do much more than the first movie did. It tries to recreate some of the iconic scenes in the first movie. It tries to recreate the tree scene, which I'm not going to say what it is, but I'm pretty sure that everyone who's seen this movie knows what I'm talking about. It tries to recreate a dungeon scene where you have a possessed demon in the dungeon trying to break free and convince the other survivors to let them go. And it does it with over-the-top effects. And I guess that was why it was considered a comedy. Because it is so over-the-top that you cannot stop but laugh or chuckle at what the movie is doing. But to me, it was just too over-the-top. The reason I liked The Evil Dead the first one was because it was doing so little with little effects and it was managing to be a decent movie and occasionally you would laugh at how hard they're trying but you realize that Sam Raimi was doing that kind of on purpose like he would realize that people would laugh at his movie. This movie also has the same very low budget feel but like I said it just goes a little over the top. I do feel like they had a little more ability in creating effects and they just went all crazy with it. Like the demons were just flying and spinning around and getting these weird looking heads popping out of their necks and just, it was so much. Like it was, it was way too much. There was gallons of blood of different colors just splashing out of the walls and I did watch some reviews about it and people were saying how that is why it's considered to be a comedy that is why it's so fun because it is over the top but to me it was a little too over the top what was good in the movie though and I enjoyed watching was Ash's evolution um, in the first movie Ash is not very brave he's very scared of what's going on he does not really know what to do. He's very reluctant to fight the demons, especially the ones in the form of his girlfriend. But in the second one, he just has no problem just chopping heads off and just putting a chainsaw on his arm and just killing everything in his sight. So that was kind of interesting to watch. Ash is a very iconic character in horror movies and old horror movies. So it was interesting to see that because in the first movie you really can't see how that character could be so iconic. I mean, the only reason why he would be is because he survived, but he didn't really survive the first movie because he was better at fighting monsters than anyone else. He kind of just gets lucky. But in the second movie, he really turns much more badass. So it was nice to see that evolution. In conclusion, I did not really like Evil Dead 2 as much as I liked Evil Dead 1. But I can't see its existence as a bridge to the third installment in the franchise, which I'm really curious to watch and let you know what I think about it next Friday. So this was it for my review of The Evil Dead Part 2, and thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and have a fun and spooky Friday night. Bye!